One of the things distortion do is adding harmonics to a sound, which will make it thicker, denser, and also make it sound crispier in tone, because it will add higher frequencies to it. This is used a lot, for example, to make sub basses translate well on smaller speakers. Now, to control better the tone of your sub, you can use the distortion as a parallel effect. That means the original sound of the sub will stay as is on a track, and the distorted sub would be on a separate track, so you can blend the two to get the balance you need. To make your life easier down the road, I'd recommend saving a custom effect track to do all your parallel processing. So with this, if we put a distortion in it, the drive of the distortion will set how many harmonics will be added, the dry weight will set the level of those harmonics, and the volume knob will set the overall volume of the track. 